Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are about to start round number four of week six of the PSS5. I'm Michael Hoype. I'm once again joined in the booth by Flint Espel. Flint, we've got a matchup between Lanny Huang and Jared Doucette. Uh, these, sure are pl- these are players who... Uh, I'll bring up the standings real quick. Uh, so this is as of the end of last week. Uh, let me bring it up. We have... Uh, Jared was tied for first at 4-1, and one, and Lanny right behind him at 3-2. and two. So uh, these are two players who are doing well in the PSS. So I have to imagine if Jared wins this match, he will be locked for top four. Uh, I don't know that for certain, but I have to assume. And I think Lanny's in a very good position if he wins this match. Um, But I don't think it would be a mathematical lock. But uh, a lot at stake for both of these players for this match. Yep. Uh, Let's jump down to their decks. Lanny has brought Growatog, Parallax Replenish, and Burning Parfait, while Jared has Red Green Goblins, Parallax Replenish, and The Rock. Lanny still has Parallax Replenish combo, while Jared has The Rock. Uh, so that's what they'll be playing tonight. Let's take a look at Lanny's list. I'm really excited to watch this. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the Parallax Replenish combo it looks to kind of churn through its deck, get... Uh, some number of enchantments in play, but usually Opalescence plus Parallax Wave is the kind of the start, and you can kind of get beneficial from there. Like, if you throw in a Tide, that's gravy. Um, There's, and then, like, or, like, sometimes there might be one where you're just, like, Parallax Tide plus Seal Cleansing or Parallax Wave plus Seal Cleansing. But most of the time, I think Opalescence plus Wave is kind of what you're looking for. Uh, And, I mean, it can do that by... Casting Frantic Search or Attunement or Intuition. Or sometimes you just actually just cast Parallax Wave and then slow down the game that way. Uh, I, I will note that Lanny is playing four copies of Mox Diamond, which gives his deck a little bit more explosiveness uh, that can cast its spells a little bit quicker. It, uh, it also really helps with those double spells, right? Because there's so many awkward positions with this deck where you're not sure which land to lead on because you have the soul lands. And so... Maybe you want to cast a wave. Maybe you want to cast a tide. You're not really sure. And so having access to that versatile mana source is actually quite helpful. All right. Yeah, so um, basically this deck is going to likely need Replenish to win. Um, But I guess the alternate way is kind of beaten down with Opalescence enchantments. So we'll see what Lanny does in game one. Um, And he'll be up against the rock in Jared's hands. Uh, so kind of our traditional Lanny Rock that we, we talk about Phyrexian Ragers and Call the Herds are in the list. And then Forms of Disruption with Duress and Cabal Therapy, though that will only take cards out of Lanny's hand. You can't stop him from drawing a Replenish, which like if there's a lot of attrition, a card like Intuition can find three Replenish. And basically Intuition is just as good as Replenish in, in some of the games, so... I, I think Jared has an uphill help battle, especially in this game one, uh, because of of that added consistency of like drawing intuition. But we'll see if Jared's able to muster up some disruption and pressure to take down the combo deck. Do you want to say anything before we jump down? Anything. Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, so I do think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, no, I'm, Jar- good. I don't, I'm good. I'm good. Jared is on the play. Uh, that does help a little bit, but. Um, I think, I think this first game might be kind of tough for him. Okay, so looks like Jared's keeping his starting seven. Uh, Lanny, yep, he's gesturing. Yep, yep, you can you could start. So he's keeping his seven as well. So turn one swamp, and we have a dress. We see a hand of two Intuitions, Opalescence, Mox Diamond, and then two Islands and City of Traders. So, I mean, taking the Opalescence is not great. You could take the Mox Diamond and slow him down. Uh, if you had a Cabal Therapy, then you just take the Mox Diamond and then... Okay, so I don't think Jared has... Oh. Yeah, take the Mox. Yeah, okay, slow him down. But I would say, like, it's a pretty easy decision, I think, if... Uh, if you have Cabal Therapy, so. 
You name what? City of Traders? Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> So Jerris follows up with a treetop village and passes the turn back. Ooh. So Lanny does have the decision, okay, if I play a City of Traders now, I'll be able to cast Intuition, which I will say typically you don't... Uh, I mean, I guess you could... Just getting a wave and those spells in the graveyard is nice. Uh, so maybe it's not so bad to cast a quick Intuition. I was going to say, most of the time you want to save it for later. Looks like Lanny will just opt to play a second island and pass the turn. Rager? Rage on, buddy. Sometimes you just gotta rage. Reminds me of one of your favorite um, Magic the Gathering flavor texts. Yeah, I was just thinking about that, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't remember when I said that, but I'm surprised that you remember that. This is probably one of, during one of our casual games or something. Uh, Flint is, of course... The early days of our friendship. Of course, referring to... I, I don't even remember what set that's originally from. Is it is Exodus? It Portal? It, it, well, is definitely, it? it's in... I think it's in... It's definitely in Starter, because that's what I know it from. Okay, Exodus. Oh, that's not the, it's not, not, not the version. Uh, let's see if I can get the one that has the flavor text. While you're doing that, I will just All note right. that Lanny passes with no plays. He raged at the world, at his family, at his life, but mostly he just raged. Mostly he just raged, my guy. Plus that art's pretty, pr pretty sweet, I think. It's pretty good. All right. It's better than the portal art. <laughs> uh, well, better than the Exodus one? I don't... The Exodus one's pretty good, too. Is there? But, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the portal art is. I gotta look this up. Just a green goblin running at you with, like, a cutlass or something. Yeah. Uh, This is very pressing. I need to figure it out right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll let the players know to, to stop playing for a minute. Uh, so Lanny's just going to go EOT intuition here. I will note that the Portal Second Age one has this Jeff Miracola art. So, Ooh. oh, I like I like the Portal one too. It's a Pete Venters art. I loved Pete Venters. All right, enough of that. Intuition has been cast. Lanny is thinking. I mean, he's got the opalescence in his hand. Oh, white mana. Someone needs white mana. Hmm. Blue Wizard needs white mana badly. <laughs> Blue Wizard is about to die. We were playing, my daughter and I were playing that at an arcade, and I had not played a lot as a kid, and Mm. We did not get very far <laughs> before the OG or Legends. I think it was Legends, okay. um, and yeah, we we were like stuck, and like she's like, "All right, I don't want to do this anymore." <laughs> <laughs> that tend to that tended to happen a lot in that game. It was like the very beginning. I needed like a key that I like forgot to get to like unlock something, and so like I had to backtrack. And of course, like the arrows are like telling me to go this way, and I'm like. That doesn't help me. I... <laughs> Checks out. All right. Lanny uses his flood to strand to get to planes. I guess we forgot to mention the ravenous Bayloth that has been added, which does a much better job at pressuring the life total compared to the Fire Exine Rager. But, uh, frantic search. Things. Jared might not get another turn. Well, Lanny has already played his land for the turn, so okay. he he doesn't have the... Um... Well, he does have Mox Diamonds, but that's probably too many cards. Uh, but, I mean, he's he's going through these motions pretty quickly. He's also casting the Intuition main phase. What does that indicate? Right? Yes. Or, no, maybe not. Maybe not. I think actually... No, because he played the Plains. Yeah, this is still his turn. Where, no, well, he didn't... He, no, it was the flooded strand. So was he fetching on the turn? I think that's what it was. Remember, he got uh, okay. he got three flooded. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay, he got three flooded strands. I'm sorry, I apologize. Yeah, yeah. so he got the flooded strand, and then he played it, and then this is probably still the yeah. end of Jared. Yeah, yeah, that makes that makes a lot more yeah, sense. Yeah. Got it. 
got it. Yeah, because he, he played the intuition, and then he played, um, or he played the frantic search, and then the intuition. So, oh, okay, I, I, I was gonna say, do you ever want to in? Oh, I guess you can't frantic. You can't intuition then frantic search. I mean, I guess you can. Um, like if you really needed one of the cards, I guess since he already has opalescence in the graveyard, you can for sure get a parallax wave in the graveyard by just getting three parallax waves. Um, I was to say, is there any merit to holding on to the frantic search? But I think it's just better to uh, maybe not. Yeah, he's just got the replenish in his hand and a mana source. Oh. So well, then yeah, then, academic. It, think, then it doesn't matter. It, just based on the line that he's taking here. Yeah. I think if you're Jared, I think you just let him have opalescence in his hand, and it is what it is at this point. Uh, I would. I would not. I think I would put not opalescence in his hand because there's already one in the is, graveyard. Is there a wave in the graveyard? I don't think there is, so I would put that one in his hand. Okay, yeah, and that can go to his hand. Yeah, because okay. there I is a there, there is a tide in an opalescence. So, oh. give him the wave. I mean, does he have another frantic search? I mean, the fact that he only searched for one wave. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I think if you're a Lanny and, and you don't have a frantic search in your hand, then yeah, you, you search for two waves. There's not one in the graveyard. All right. Lanny shows his hand. He says, I've got a land and I've got to replenish. And Jared says, I've got a sideboard that I'm going to look at. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got a sideboard. Let's go to game two. Yeah. I guess let's okay. briefly explain like why that was a win for certain. Like So with Opalescence in play and... Parallax Wave, he Lanny can exile all of Jared's creatures. Also, the Parallax Tide would come back, and he'd be able to exile all the lands. So there's no coming back from that. Okay, I have Lanny's decklist. Two Swords of Plowshares, two Seal of Cleansing, four Abeyance, three Deep Analysis, one Mana Short, and three Exalted Angel. Uh... I I think I I want to look at Jared's sideboard first. I think that's going to more dictate of of how we are under the impression of how Lanny's going to sideboard, um, because I think how he wants to react depends on what's in Jared's sideboard. So I'll bring up that there are two naturalized, two haunting echoes, four tempting worms, four engineered plagues, one smother, one diabolic edict, one recurring nightmare. Uh, so you can likely well definitely take out smother and. The Diabolic Edict and the Vendettas. I mean, I guess Lanny does have Exalted Angels. He's got those Exalted Angels, right? Yeah. And, I mean, there are very corner cases where spot removal works against the combo, but uh, I think a lot of times it does not work the way that Jared would want. Uh, I would take out Recurring Nightmare. I don't think the matchup's going to go that long where that grinding comes into play. Yeah, um... Man, those Tempting Worms are just so bad. There's, uh, yeah, Tempting Worm and just be able to put in a bunch of, like, a Parallax Wave or whatever. <laughs> uh, do you think Haunting Echoes, I mean, definitely something you'd bring in, right? It's got to come in, yeah. yeah. I mean, Lanny knows he's going to bring it in, and he's got to play around it regardless, but Jared, Jared needs to bring it in. Okay. Uh, I think I, he's got to bring in the Haunting Echoes, and he's got to bring in the Diabolic Edict. I guess it also helps that you have like so many cards that like you could take out. So, yeah, I mean, like Jared's deck gets a little bit better, but it, it's still it's like the way he interacts is just not really the axis I think that you really want in this matchup. Uh, how does Lanny sideboard? That I'm I'm not sure. I just look at this list and I'm like, just like I feel like if you take out any of these cards, things get weird. Like maybe you take out Careful Study and. Uh, I don't know. I guess you could take out Seal Cleansing. I mean, Pernicious Deed somewhat interacts with the combo, but it's it's like really slow. Like if you're planning on winning early, Pernicious Deed just like does not come into play. But I guess it might be something that you need to respect and just keep those in. Yeah, I mean, does he take out the swords and the seals? And, well, the other thing to I think he might take out the attunements as well. The nice thing about the attunements is like you can kind of sink your mana and put them in play, and then yeah, like yeah, but then they just sit there. Yeah, but 
then you're not you're never exposed to haunting echoes yeah, well know. he's not going to use he's not going to he's not going to put cards into his graveyard intentionally until he goes for it right. because he's got to play around haunting echoes but it's a sorcery so if he's smart about it and just runs out his thing slowly uh or just leans on an exalted angel he can play around hon uh haunting okay. echoes for sure I mean, another way to do it is you could, if you're close to the counter, you could just bring in the abeyance and time walk Jared, like, you know, three turns in a row and then go for it. But that's probably just not what he wants to do. My guess is he brings in the angels and calls it a day. I mean, is there any merit to bringing a card like Deep Analysis in? You could. I mean, it, I, I feel like best case scenario for Jared, he's starting to, to pressure Lanny a little bit. So I don't know if Lanny wants to, to pay the, the life but i mean in terms of cards that he's taking out you know maybe he takes out the careful studies because he doesn't want cards in his graveyard that early so maybe he takes out two of those maybe he takes out one attunement maybe he takes out one seal and that's three angels and one deep analysis and maybe he calls it a day i don't know we'll see all right let's jump back down to the match so lanny up a game yeah, I do agree that usually deep analysis are for decks with like counter spells. The games are going to go a, bit, a little bit longer, or might go a little bit longer. You have the luxury for the game to go longer, um, because the the rock deck, like the games that it wins, it's probably going to disrupt you and apply pressure, and you're not going to have the time to cast a deep analysis. Um, so it's either you draw a deep analysis and you don't have the luxury to play it, or the rock isn't pressuring you enough and you're going to win fast and it doesn't matter anyways. So. All right, Lanny mulliganing to six. Looks like Jared is happy with his seven. What is Jared's ideal start? Uh, Lanny mulligans to two. I guess. Well, see, the the problem is like, <laughs> like Jared has no way of accelerating pressure. So like, there's no. There's no birds. There's no wall of roots. Uh, it's so like turn four ravenous Baloth is the quickest it can come down, right? And so like the and the the interaction pieces that he has are like duress and cobalt therapy. They're good about like taking replenish out initially, but like you don't actually really want to put any of the other enchantments in the graveyard per se. I mean, like it, it's fine that they're there, but like it doesn't prevent Lanny from killing you with a combo. I don't know. It just seems like everything just lines up really poorly from from Jared's perspective. Huh? Lanny's well getting to five, so he's all right. <laughs> Here we go. I guess that does make your hand disruption a little bit better. <laughs> Jeff has said your plan is to demolish his hand and start dust bowling. I mean, in the abstract, like Robinson says, I don't think a bailout the turn earlier would change much. But I mean, like, I agree. It's not like it's not like Jared is killing Lanny on plus one turn that that he combos him out. But like the idea of it basically is a whole extra turn that Lanny gets because Jared doesn't have any acceleration. All right, looks like Lanny is happy enough with his five cards, as I'll put two to the bottom. Jared is patiently waiting. He's like, I've got these seven. I'm hoping they can get me there. Do you think Jared has an edge when he's at seven and Lanny has five and Jared's on the play? Is that enough of an edge? Doesn't hurt. I would say. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Huh? Like, what would be the breaking point for you, for you to bet on the rock? I don't know. I don't even know if I still would even say that Jared's favorite here. I don't think I ever bet on the rock, so. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Well, I ended up really, have, really having to think about this too. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially when you're playing against like hand disruption, like a lot of times you can look at your hand and like, okay, my my plays are going to be sequenced this way. Uh, but as soon as like a duress gets thrown in the mix, then like you're like, oh, well, this one key turn that I was planning on using my mana or whatever, like smoothing out things, like when that doesn't happen because of a duress, uh, that might change how you mulligan. People chatting to us. Um, that's what I'm waiting to see. Lenny down to five, keep seven. Okay, so he did finally keep. Yes. Okay. Uh, And Jared's gonna start with start with a swamp, and it looks like no discard spell is gonna be kicked off. So, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because, uh, like Lanny's like pivotal turn is gonna be like casting like replenish, and if if you have a card like Cabal Therapy, like waiting a turn or two later, like isn't bad because it just makes it more likely that they're gonna draw one. There's the deep analysis. Okay. So Lanny will play the Seal Cleansing. That's off a Sky Cloud Expanse, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Well, Jared has a Rager, and then he flashed it back right away, right? Yeah. Naming gets the frantic search. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. Like, yeah, we just have this this parallax tied, and might be say like, hey, um, I mean, I guess Lanny has two decisions. Well, a few decisions: play it or not, and then play it, and then use it for. You could just like cut him off of one mana because it stays around in play, keep him so he's like he can't cast a bail off or something. You just take him off a of black, so you're hoping to catch him that way. A lot of interesting spots now that this is down. What what is your gut to remove all the lands? I think I think I would just take away the swamp. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess he does have the seal. Like, would you? I mean, would you use this as an arm again? I guess I didn't even consider that. Of course, he could just like exile the lands and then blow it up and then untap two of his. Looks like he's doing it. Yep. Nice. All right. Cool. Yep. All right. Oh, um, Robin, I just said, don't forget to say happy birthday to Andrew Walker if you haven't already. Didn't realize today was his birthday. So happy birthday, Andrew. Happy birthday to the Curd Ape, yes. Mr. Walker. All right, so Jared has to rebuild after getting all his lands blown up. Uh, he's got a Dust Bowl and a Forest. And yeah, man, it's just like, I feel like Lanny has so much time now. He's he's definitely got the time to flashback that deep analysis. <laughs> Will Jared cast another spell this game? <laughs> it's possible that he won't. There's an intuition here. Uh, Lanny's gonna get wait okay so we're not getting triple replenish because I guess there's no opalescence yet right we haven't seen that nope 
So two waves and opalescence, yes. Andy Culpepper has predicted that the Tix, Trix Tide meta is incoming. So He's got a pretty sweet deck. It's a deck that, when I look at it, I'm like, I just discount every single Trix list. I'm like, it can't be done. It can't ever be good. Uh, he's done well with it, so props to you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jared's body language is not very excited. He's not he's not casting spells, hands on the table, his arms are crossed. While well, Lanny yep. Lanny gets to dig through his deck. Alright, here's a replenish. I uh, there is no opalescence, is that correct? But Lanny will be able to uh, exile his lands with the Parallax Wave and untap them with the Seal Cleansing and then cast Opalescence. Yep. So this should be it. Specifically, I he can exile all like three tapped ones one at a time, right? And then he can target Jared's and then hold priority yep, and yeah. exile Jared's permanently. Sure. So if Jared doesn't have a way to interact. I don't think there... Is there a way? I mean, he, he I like guess in response to the very first land being exiled, he, he if could... You um, had, if you had... Well, you could float the... No, because you couldn't float the mana because then Lanny could go to the next phase. I was saying to try and naturalize the opalescence, but... Yeah, he does have naturalize. Yeah, I think in response to Lanny exiling his first land, um, Jared's going to naturalize. Okay, so that means That's that the way to do it. Lanny can only have three mana this turn, but he's still Correct. losing two of his lands, and Lanny's just going to untap the next turn, right? Yeah, he's still going to lose both his lands. Yep. Yeah, and then Lanny's just going to untap and cast the Opalescence. Yeah. So, naturalize not enough in the spot. I guess we're debating sequencing, but I think ultimately, at best, it's going to buy a turn for Jared with no mana at the start of it. All right, our players are still talking about the sequencing, I guess, with the the wave and the tide. Uh, oh, Jared targeted the parallax. He targeted the one of the waves. So now Jared's going to have to deal with a 5-5 five five that can exile all his creatures and has vigilance. So I think it's just a few turns, and then this will be all... She wrote for Jared for tonight. All right, Frantic Search is going to show a lot more permanence and another Replenish, so just insult to injury. Uh, Lanny and his Parallax Replenish deck taking out Jared. Jared showing, I got this clunky Haunting Echoes that I never got the five mana. <laughs> All right, let's jump down to the uh, to the players, see what they have to say. Sure, that's like... I knew what like, you were going for. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I played the deck, too, so yeah. I know what you were going for there. Um, did you board any Exalted Angels? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I kept in two Vendettas just for that. 
Um, yeah, I, I, you know, even if you keep in the vendettas, that's like kind of good for me because then you have like vendetta in your deck, and then. Yeah, no, I get it. Um, yeah, I. It definitely feels like a bad matchup for sure because I can't put enough pressure on with any disruption, and you getting that wave after I or that tide after I cabal therapied. I was like, ah, shit, like that sucked. But um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that draw step was super good for me. Yep. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Well, now we have a very exciting... So you're 4-2 and two now with, I think, really good breakers, though. Yeah, 4-2 um, and two with good game score breakers, for sure. Yeah, so that, that I think you should be locked in, I, I think, at this point. So, all right, let's turn them up. I think I have them. I have them turned up. I don't hear them. Yep, we're you just we're listening. Yep, we're just listening. Okay, okay. cool. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so uh, Jared... Jared awarded me with a take back because I just like started saying things with my tie. <laughs> okay. I was like, I'm going to do this. And he's like, well, then I'll naturalize you. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's why I should <laughs> do it the, the smart way and not the way where I'm just like, you know, whatever. But yeah, I, I mean, was... I, I guess at like at worst, if he held you to like you doing that, then what? Then like we would both start the game over. Yeah. <laughs> I would say like, well, Jared, Jared loses all his lands, and then you just like pass the turn, and then, then you just kill him next turn. Uh, well, no, cause well, no, because he would lose I his three lands. Have lost my three lands because I, I execute like I. Oh, uh, like, okay. Saying my trigger is such that I would untap my three lands, but mm -hmm. um, I, I announced that I announced putting it on the stack all at the same time instead okay. of being like instead of being like wave wave one two three they're under the wave and then mm -hmm. tide combo. Um, okay, we my, we, we thought brain, the initial like we thought the initial thing was because you needed all three lands exiled to cast the the additional spell, oh, oh, bless, and oh, and so bless. so we thought that it was just a timing thing that he's like, well, because you're using all of them and you needed all of them, the naturalize like interacts in a profitable way that I'm like able to like disrupt you, and then you only get two lands or whatever. But yeah, no, I was just being completely like ridiculous because I I my hand is all four cost permanence replenishes and like whatever so i could have chosen like a hundred ways to defeat jared from the spot like i could have just tied him out and then proceeded to like like i could just let my tide hang um or make infinite i, I could have just like done a hundred different things and then the one thing that i said with my words was like the one unexploitable line which was really dumb <laughs> so um yeah so uh you know i'm just hoping that karma Karma gets Jared for that one for being a super nice guy on me, uh, nearly just completely destroying my, my game. It's like annihilating my board. So yeah, that's it then. yeah. So Jared, you ended that game with haunting echoes in your hand, right? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. What, so was did... the keep was the keep just like lands and haunting echoes? No, it was. Um, I had the cabal therapy, but I didn't figure there was a much difference between playing it turn one or turn two. I might as well let you get another draw step. Because you know, I could you might hit, two. Hit, hit hit two or hit something something else, and I wanted to be able to you know stack the rager right next to the next turn. Um, oh, so no, I, okay, I, yeah, because I had the rager and I was like, I knew I was going to flash it back because I needed to disrupt you. Because I love this not, play because it's it's um it goes into this like timing your cabal therapy things and like how important it is to like have your your information on your opponent's hand be like as up to date as possible. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I, I talked about that a bit with Mano on his on his Cabal Therapy like that like that one time of just kind of like you know even if your hands like all Cabal Therapies eventually once you cast your last one your opponent's going to start drawing unknown spells and then it yeah. makes your life harder. Yeah, and then when I saw the the Tide that w was his you know the dr card he drew for that turn I knew I was in trouble. Um, but because uh, the Frantic Search looked like a good good one to grab you know like you right because I was and, just gonna Frantic know. Search deep analysis or like yeah. set up a replenish yeah yeah and then that, that was a tough one to beat um and then you know obviously I didn't have much after that but yeah I had the haunting echoes in my hand ready to go <laughs> you know if I ever got the five mana which is kind of hard to do when he's digging as much as he is so um so I I, I had a feeling this was gonna be a tough matchup but as, as Lenny and I were kind of talking about earlier I just kind of Either way, I think it was probably one of my better um, kind of decks to bring because I don't th like if I brought replenish against his replenish deck, then it's just um, you know his, his is faster. If you know I brought goblins, I think you know we were talking about it's like is it a good match? Who's who's it a good matchup for? I never feel that confident in, you know playing goblins against <laughs> replenish, and he he doesn't feel that confident in playing 
against goblins with with replenish so it's like kind of a tough one and i knew it like you know the rock deck was good against his other two decks so that's why i brought that one but um and then kind of worked back from there for the other two matches but you know, we, we're going to have an exciting uh, week seven, that's for sure. This yeah, is, we are. This is a jam-packed, um, you know, it's just going to see how interesting how, how it all breaks out. Yeah. So a close race. Uh, so we have mm-hmm. one more week before we cut to the top four. So it'll be interesting to see who ends up at the that top cut of the four players. So. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, the, the, and then next week we get the choice of all three decks, right? So yeah, it's just starting all over. Oh yep. boy. Okay. Okay. So you could have um, you could have responded to one of my. Yeah, I could have gotten one of them. Yeah, you could have gotten one of them, or or I mean, what would have happened was then I would have to then re re um, re slide. So you would have saved one of your lands, rather. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if yeah, done it because I would have had one. to rerun a trigger, rerun an activation. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, yeah, um, yeah. So with so Rich goes to three. What happened? What happened today? Rich goes to three. Um, I'm, already, goes I'm writing. I'm writing it down three. at the same time. So. Okay. Yeah. Rich goes to three. Oliver goes to three. Uh, Mike Arnold also goes to three. So the way I see it is that I think I think Oliver uh, Rich is in third or fourth right now. He's the, he's the best of the three three with a seven and six um, game win percentage. But he did he he lost to Oliver though, and then he how did he do against Mike? I can't remember because the 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 head to head's the first the first tiebreaker, right? Oh yeah, I mean that that just becomes uh, crazy. He defeated Mike uh, playing. Where, no, because what did Mike? No, he lost to Mike. He played Goblins versus Natural Order Rock, so he okay, lost that so, one. So he's actually the 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 least of the three threes because he's lost to both Alvaro and and Mike, then, okay. right? And then well, my my strategy is to defeat Rich Shea next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, <laughs> then then just knock him out, and then it's not a problem. Because right now between me, you, and Tom, I beat you. Or sorry, you beat me. I beat Tom, and then and then Tom, Tom beat me. <laughs> So all three of us are tied. So it's going to come down to our game winning percentage. So right, is that right, Mike? Well, that's that's true. Except for uh, we have three people that are live for four wins. Uh, right. In the I, I'm just I'm just yeah. saying for, for the current standings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay, yeah, it's it's a mess. It's a mess. No, it's sweet. This is um, you know, you, I wouldn't have uh, you know, the script is the script is uh, enthralling here that you've that you've made for us, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, incredible, incredible stuff. Fantastic directing and writing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at the standings right now. I just updated them. Interesting. So Lanny, Tom, and Jared are all in first place right now. Mm-hmm. But but with the tie again, the tiebreakers are that we've all beaten each other. Then, then it goes to the the winning percentage, and right now Lanny's in the front. I guess I'll bring this on stream real quick. Oh yeah, we we need this stuff. So then Tom is four and two with a ten and seven, which is a yeah. We we're still live for five four threes because I can lose. uh, Jared could lose. Tom could lose, and then Alvaro could win, uh, which would put yeah one two three four five. It would put. But Rich and Alvaro up to four. No, we're alive for. I think we're still alive for um, six. Yeah. Four threes. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. still alive for the nightmare six <laughs> six ways at four three. Yeah. And then we put Michael Hype into the tank and have him figure it all out. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out if it comes to that. But oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. All right. So if you guys like drama, next week you're rooting for uh, Will to beat Jared, um, Alvaro to beat Jeff. Uh, Rich to beat me and Mike to beat Tom for a six-way tie at four wins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mike, if you just make and the we get to pick any of our three decks narrower. What? Just make the window narrower. Just squeeze it together because the left column is fixed. Oh. So just drag the wind the window and make it smaller, and then you'll be able to see the names next to the rankings, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's close enough. Sm- make smaller, then oh, scroll right. Then scroll, but... yeah. Make like smaller, this scroll to the right. Then you can just scroll to the right. Wait, um, longer the way I want. 
<laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there. You're doing it. You're no, doing. I, wait, no, it's not. It's I, not. It's failing. It's not. Are you doing work. it in OBS? Oh, it's, it's fine. No. We're having technical difficulties here on the PSS standby. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna like copy paste this. I'm just gonna make this smaller. Oh, is this on the stream? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally just... This is the content that people tune in for. It's there not actually the uh, the game. Oh, no, this is this is it's... our college professors trying to project anything ever. The, the problem is, is because it's like. It's... Here, I put I put a static image in the Facebook chat. So it's it's just... it's slightly it's slightly cropped on my display capture, so it's. It's I didn't not, order it's not exactly how I see it. So sort Z day. Oh, did I fuck it up? Oh no, I'm temporary filtering, so it's fine. But temporary filter doesn't work because of how. It, anyways, I dropped a static image in our Facebook chat. You can just oh, that's like it's it's close enough. They could see the rank. They could see the end of the people's names. Okay, they got it's, it. They got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's what we're looking All at. Right. But yeah, um, we got a, a lot to look forward to in our our upcoming week. And then we will be uh, in playoff time. So we're almost. It's weird. I feel like I feel like we just started the PSS, but it's, we're close to the end already. So, um, yeah. Uh, I don't really have anything else to add. Do you guys want to talk about anything, or are you guys ready to go? Um, I mean, I didn't get to make Jared draw infinite cards at any point, so that was kind of sad. What is that sequence? <laughs> If I have a opalescence wave uh, together, oh, with the the wall of, or the wall of blossoms, blossoms or okay. Phyrexian Rager. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, well, that it, sweet. the Rager one technically doesn't work because there he's going to die. It doesn't work because he dies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spoiling but all. There the will fun. be a billion. There will be a billion triggers on the yeah, stack. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you want to flex on your rock players, uh, you know, um. You can you can do that to them. It's like, hey, I, I heard you like drawing cards. <laughs> how about how about all of them? Um, yeah, but other than that, good games, tight race. Um, sorry, I used a take back. I hate I hate using take back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so bad. So thanks, thankful for the pre modern community. The spirit of the format. Yeah. yeah, thankful for the spirit of the format. Yeah. I'm glad Jared doesn't play like certain european champions that, that i think uh, take back if you execute that i think jared you're still probably a dog in that spot anyway so <laughs> hey i could have ripped some stuff who knows yeah yeah we would have been both in a hilarious top deck mode i'm fighting to find it's actually a funny situation because i have to find two white sources and that probably does take a while stuff yeah. fades away yeah, but I had another replenish in my hand, so it's okay. one white source plus one before okay. you know whatever. Okay. Maybe wait. Maybe I should have just forced. Maybe we should have just done prison rules and actually like made myself draw out of that spot and then just like try to find two lands for the drama. He probably would have put a wall of blossoms into play. That's all I could say. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that would have been curtains. <laughs> all right. Then. Um. Yeah. All right. Uh, GG's again. Yeah. And yeah, see you see you in the top four, Jared. Right. Absolutely. Good games, guys. All right. Bye bye. All right, Flint. Uh you're back to the PSS. We're we're wrapping things up for tonight. Uh you said you are not gonna be here next week, is that correct? I will be hiking in Yosemite. All right, well that's a good excuse. So um take take a, a picture of a mountain and make it worthy of a magic art. That I will I'll take a picture and I'll put it in the, in the chat for All the right. PSS. Uh, but yeah, we have uh, things closing in on our last uh, round robin uh, week. But then, yeah, we have the playoffs to look forward to. And as we kind of just talked about, uh, it's anyone's game. Um, so yeah, a lot of excitement uh, still coming. But thank everyone for tuning in. Uh, thank, thank you, Flint. Thank you, players. Thank you, uh, people in chat. Thanks, everybody. So. I'm having fun. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, Flint, you want to say anything before we sign off? I haven't been here as much as this series, but it's been fun catching up on the videos and always fun commentating and kind of working behind the scenes regardless. So thanks for tuning in as well. And uh, I'll, I'll be back for the semifinals and finals. All right. Uh, so that brings us to the end of our week six. But uh, thanks everyone for watching. But until next time, take care. And everybody.